I am working on a book now that Yale Press will publish on simplistically the search for what John Haydock used to refer to as aura, which we all refer to as poetry, which is basically unteachable. In other words, the unutterable in architecture. Um, and that is something normally taught by and talked about and cogitated over by theologians, by philosophers. Margaret, Margaret McCurry, couldn't be here. My wife and partner and I are on the visiting committee of the Divinity School at the University of Chicago. And a bunch of them came up to see my show at the Graham Foundation, which I guess closes this week. And uh, we went out to dinner. Twelve doctoral candidates, the dean and a faculty member. Um, and it's something they talk about all the time. Uh, so I'm writing about that um, because that's what interests me. Uh, the search for what isn't normally discussed in architectural circles. So digitally, I mean, obviously, I, I use a word processor for typing. Actually, it's a cute story about I've been working on a word processor for years. And I had, what is the first one that came out in 1976? Word yeah, I had, and it was, it was getting slow, slower and slower. And what is the name of the woman? You, ha you, you have that business now too, the technology woman in architecture in Chicago. There's a woman who helps. What? Well, whatever. So I called her and I said, I want an absolutely up-to-date computer, and I want you to lobotomize it. I don't care about anything except typing. And she did. She basically got it down to zero. So I had this incredibly fast word processor, which is what I use. I don't know AutoCAD, Margaret McCurry does know AutoCAD. And if I rattle off the names of my contemporaries, including Frank Gehry and Eisenman and Graves and Stern and all of them, Meyer, none of them are, are on the word processor. But their offices are, and our offices, no question about it. Um, but we all, all of us of my generation, still draw. So in fact, I'm working on a house right now that I'm drawing. Of course, I will turn it over to a kid who will put it on the computer, and then I'll make changes. I mean, do what normal people do. But I don't think the computer is yet at a stage to contend with that subject, aura, or the unspeakable in architecture. I think it may, at some point, get to that stage. But it certainly isn't there now. And, you know, like all architects, we have meetings with clients. And I find it difficult to have any paper and pencil in those meetings. For God forbid, one of the kids in the office, all of whom are technology, unbelievably proficient, but none of whom can draw. And if I, you know, God forbid I let them loose in front of a client with a pencil and they would draw a line like this. So we're in a transition time. You're right to ask the question. And at some point, the computer may get to a stage that it actually can deal with what I'm talking about. But at the moment, it can't. And what I'm talking about interests me personally, the business of the unutterable in architecture. So maybe not the answer you want to hear, but that's my answer to the question.